A little red box outside the public library in downtown Tyler is connecting people from all walks of life. What's inside has become a way to show others they're loved and cared for. Our Lane Lucky explains in this week's Power of Prayer. The public library in Tyler has become more than a place to feed the mind. Many who stop by are also picking up the most basic form of nourishment. You know, people who, you know, come through here and they, you know, they in need too. For some, a handful of snacks and a bottle of water might be the only meal of the day. Quan Bonchon stops by the Rose City Pantry on a regular basis. Every time I uh, go up to the box, I usually uh, say, you know, like a prayer, like thankful and uh, bless those who put those in there, you know, every chance I get because I do know that like it, it doesn't have to be like that. What's become a box of blessings started in 2020 with an answered prayer. Organizer Allison Shamont was discerning a call to serve others. Should I do this, Lord, or should I do this? And he just kept pushing me back to, no, you just feed the people, feed my people. She's assembled a team of volunteers to stock the pantry with donations every day. From friends, fellow moms, to professional connections, they're putting faith into action. <laughs> Lauren Busby even brings her kids along to fill the shelves. This time, it's one-year-old Elle lending a hand. We are to be the hands and feet of Jesus, and this is, this is exactly what he's talking about when he says, go, serve, do love God and love others. At times, the pantry seems to get as much traffic as the book return, just feet away, highlighting the great need this tackles. Feeding America reports nearly 33,000 people in Smith County face food insecurity. So these fruit cups, Vienna sausages and crackers might be the manna from heaven satisfying the hungry. It says in the Bible, if your brother asks for food, you know, give him food. If they ask for shelter, give him shelter, you know, and like I said, the foundation is our father and he does so much for us, so why not pass on that blessing to someone else? And that invitation is painted right on the door. Take what you need, give what you can. Shamont says she often sees generosity coming from the same people the pantry serves. The lady with all her worldly possessions and two suitcases she was giving to the pantry. So it, the impact is, is, an, is incredible and you get to see it. You get to actually experience helping others. The same for Bonshan. His stops at the library fill him with hope. Whoever put the food in there, they may not hear it enough. It's more of a blessing than it is anything else. Lane Lucky, East Texas News. Anyone interested in donating to the Rose City Pantry can place non-perishable foods inside the box. Community groups and businesses are also welcome to partner with the project. Just look for Rose City Pantry on Facebook.